This is question 12. Given that s equals to the limit summation 1 over n plus k, where k equals 1 to n and n go to infinity. Find the value of e to the power of s. This is a very standard question for those study in calculus. Before we go into that, let us have a feeling what is this means. When n equals 1, this expression is equal to 1 over 2. When n equals to 2, we have two terms where the first term is equal to 1 over 3 and the second term equals to 1 over 4. When n equals to 3, the first term is equal to 1 over 4 and the second term is 1 over 5. The third one is 1 over 6. n equals to 4. This is 1 over 5, 1 over 6, 1 over 7, and 1 over 8. When n increases, this value also increases. And we would like to know whether the limit exists so that you go to some uh, specific value. And in this case, it says that the limit does exist and equals to s. We are asked to find what is the value of s, or rather we are asked to find what is e to the power of s. And to answer this, it already suggested that s is something to do with e. To deal with this question, we have to recall the remand sum in calculus. That is, the limit of 1 over n summation k equals 1 to n, f of k over n, where n go to infinity, is actually equals to 0 to 1, f of x dx. With this, then it is easy to see that s is equal to the limit of, of 1 over n, we can create this 1 over n by writing this as 1 over 1 plus k over n. k equals 1 to n. So using this formula, then we see that this is 0 to 1, 1 over 1 plus x dx. And this is equal to log of 1 plus x from 0 to 1, and this is log 2. Uh, for information, log 2 is about 0 0.693. Increases, this value will go to 0 0.693. And therefore, e to the power of x is equal to e to the power of log 2. e to the power of log 2 is actually equal to 2. And 2 is the answer for the question 12.